How is it going everybody? We are here trying out Fat Burger today. Very first one opened in the Central Florida area. I am exhausted. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm red. I was outside all day today over at SeaWorld, but I'm hungry. It is nighttime. I wanna show you where we're at really quick before we do head in. But again, today, trying Fat Burger here in Celebration Florida. Now, funny enough, we actually just did a review of Slim Chickens, which is all the way down there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it totally, but it's all the way down there. However, we have a brand new complex inside of this area. These buildings are, I think they're up for rent. So like if you have a business, I think there's only a few that are actually already taken unless they're just all being worked on. But this area will be popping. I can guarantee you that. We do have a Publix over here, brand new as well. Lumos Dental, again, at the end here is that fat burger. but. Either way, very new area. Like I said, we already did a review here at Slim Chicken, so I won't totally go over the area that we're in, but this is a very, very nice area, very upscale and just like, I don't know, everything here is like new and just like different. I mean, what is this place? Bur like Baracos, Burbacos, Babacos, Babacos, Burritos? I don't even know how you pronounce that. Either way, burrito joint in here, and I don't think it's open yet, but they have the sign, everything will be coming along. What is it? Oh, great clips. So more chain stuff though. Either way, on the end, fat burger. Really quick, I do want to point out how massive that Publix is. See how long that is? Absolutely massive. Anyway, here we are. Fat burger. First one here in Central Florida. This is basically, I think there's two of them here in Florida. I think there's one over in Tampa. But the entire like company I think was started out in California and then has started to move out here and obviously being a little bit more touristy It's probably just a smart choice either way Let's head in and try fat burger for the very first time never had it by the way. This is this is gonna be crazy All right We're gonna go take a look at the menu and then go ahead place an order and try some stuff out It actually looks like a little bit of a smaller menu than what I saw online But I'm not totally certain if it is or isn't so first thing I need to point out is because this is a new location They did say that the menu you see online is not the same menu that you will see in store So they don't have everything that you saw online there So if you are browsing don't expect to have everything in store like I just said so some of the items like onion rings are not available here and just like I think they don't have wings and a few other things like that so things that you saw online won't be here necessarily it's not that they won't ever be here so if you're coming like soon ish uh, they're not available however we did order a tropic chip cookie milkshake and this thing looks fantastic now also something I need to point out right next to us here is the soda machine and it is Pepsi products. So over at Slim Chickens we saw they had uh, Coke products I believe. Over here they do have Pepsi, some tea and some lemonade next door. Also something I think I need to point out as I come back here is they only put mustard on their burgers which is kind of interesting. Also we are number 89 today waiting around. I need to point out as well, so we did two burgers, a double burger, a regular burger, fries, and this milkshake, and it came out to like $38, which is pretty expensive in my opinion for a burger joint. So I'm hoping these things are really good, but you're basically spending, I don't know, almost 10 bucks a burger at that point, and then the fries were like $3.50 a piece. We didn't even do um, the meals, we went ahead and just did water. So kind of expensive for $38 in my opinion for two burgers and two things of fries and a milkshake. But uh, hopefully again, they hold up. So as we're waiting for our food, since we do have our milkshake, like they say, dessert before dinner, you'll never be thinner. Go ahead, try it out, let us know what you think. Also, they put a little like note on there. You're amazing. How fun is that? Oh, have a great day. They write all over. Um, that is so good. There's just like chunks of soft chocolate chip cookie in this shake and it, you really get the flavor of it like it's not a vanilla shake with some cookie like it straight up tastes like chocolate chip cookie shake it's it's good well i am excited now to try this last shakes we had actually weren't that long ago we had them over at mel's in uh, universal oh yeah that is super good it definitely tastes exactly like she said so it tastes like you are drinking a legit like chocolate chip cookie milkshake it doesn't taste like a vanilla milkshake with add-ins they manage to like blend it super well together. You get some of those cookie chunks in there. That is really, really good. We almost actually got the Oreo one and we were like, you know what, let's try something a little different. We had a good recommendation on it and 
that hits the spot. This is actually kind of interesting. So on the wrappers, they just like mark off the things that you don't want. So I didn't want relish, mayo, lettuce, or tomato. I'm pretty basic with my burgers. So we did actually go with the skinny fries and then I think they're called fat fries. And those are basically just steak fries and these are like your traditional fries. I am somebody that likes a skinnier fry. I don't really like the steak fries typically. Sometimes they're pretty good. I just think it's almost like too much. Let's try these fries out again. Skinny fry versus fat fry. Fat burger, fat fry. Good luck. First fry, I feel like I'll do no ketchup to get like the true yeah, flavor. True flavor. A little potatoey, like not very seasoned. They could definitely use some seasoning on them. Um, I mean, even a little bit of salt would go a long way. And I do like a steak fry every now and then, but these almost taste a little too potatoey and not enough fry-y because of how thick they are. So I think these are better because of that potato reason. Well, as my mouth is on fire from eating the fry, I have to agree, I think there's just too much potato in these fries without a seasoning. I like almost like, I don't know what it is, like a, there, it's almost just a french fry seasoning. It's kind of a little bit red and it's like a seasoned salt of sorts. I feel like if you can get that on your fries, I feel like that's where the flavor is definitely the best. Otherwise, yeah, it's just too much potato to um, like skin ratio, I guess. So I don't know if you're supposed to leave the like burger in the uh, holder here. I think you are, right? You like hold it. Also, I don't know if you can see, but it is like wet with like grease. So I feel like it's not the healthiest burger, except I think we do have an impossible burger. So that's always a, a little plus. Here we go. Initial impressions, it tastes like a little bit of a better version of a um, White Castle burger. The onions, very, very strong. And my immediate thought is the patties alone, I don't think are anything to write home about. But the overall flavor profile, I think it's good. But I'm not sure that the patties are like something crazy. I'll continue to eat that. But initial impressions are lots of onion, which I like. And it tastes like a really good burger. So don't let me saying like the patties not being super flavorful deter you from it. I just don't know if I would say it's like this crazy iconic burger. But overall, like I said, I think it is a pretty tasty burger. Got to dig in a little bit more and try and get all of the uh, bits in there. I'm keeping it as is on my order. I might add ketchup. I am a ketchup mustard person on my burgers typically. I don't know if I'll add it or, or not, but I'll probably at least try it at some point. I, uh, I decided to get an egg on my burger today. That's totally out of left field for me, but I saw it and I was like, we're going to do it. So. Here's our single, oniony, eggy, cheesy, pickly, mustardy burger. It was definitely a good choice because it's very good. I don't totally think the mustard goes with the vibe of my sandwich or the vibe of my burger. I think I was almost thinking White Castle, you know, oniony, pickly, but mustard's not part of it. Neither is egg, but the egg is good. But I guess, you know, I look at this and they definitely give me like a smash burger vibe. And I think one of the things about smash burgers is I don't like how much bread there is compared to the meat. So I feel like because I got the single, I'm getting a lot of bread with each bite and not enough meat. I think the oniony flavor is good. I agree with the White Castle comment, but they're not like these super flavorful patties, but it is a good burger. Well, Nicole didn't even eat too much of her single and then uh, this double we've actually split quite a bit So that's another thing at least I will give credit to them is the, the patties are pretty big You know, it's it, you get a lot of food I feel like for the value again It is still pricey by all means, but again you do get some pretty big burgers So with the fries we didn't even finish the fries on either side skinny or fat I am a skinny person for them. I think you said same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Skinny fries skinny fries and then and uh, I would definitely probably do a double, but you would probably split it. Like if you were to do like a burger, a shake, and like a fry, you could probably split it pretty comfortably. If you're wanting to be like full, full, you would probably need a little bit more. So maybe do the triple. But I would say like, I mean, look how much food we have left over. That's a lot of food between the two of us. Well, we have finished up eating our burger. Again, a cool little place here inside of Celebration. I do like that burger, I gotta admit. In all honesty, I think those milkshakes were my favorite like part of the entire meal. I thought it was so freaking good. But that being said, here is the Fat Burger founder, Lovey Yancey, Yancey? I don't know, but uh, originally, I think it was also called Mr. Fat Burger, and then she ended up dropping the Mr. at some point and just named it Fat Burger, so kinda cool. Now it is time to get out of here again. Beautiful night tonight. There's the giant Publix. 
And let's go like take a quick look down here. That's where I did the intro, by the way. I don't really know what that's gonna be. It looks like a cool little like hangout area. I don't know if that's the intentions. A lot of good light there, cause it is dark again. And you actually have, I think I4 like right there, by the way, which is crazy. But yeah, so you have all of these buildings and then you said there's a brewery coming in, right? Where's yeah, that gonna be? Right there. Cause I, I think, think that's coming soon. Okay, and I think it's the Celebration Brewery is what it's yeah. what's called. So that'll be cool. Maybe we'll be able to check that out at some point here. But yeah, look at all this. Like, there's like empty buildings. And I mean, this one actually has some stuff. So that one looks like it's ready to go or at least like getting worked on. This one actually looks like it's being worked on too. But then down here, like this looks almost like completely empty. So if you guys have maybe some sort of business you guys are interested in. I'm waiting for like somebody to like come like pop out of there and like scare me. But I think this is gonna be a really good spot. Oh, look, there's like another like little hangout area over there. This area is very, very cool. Very nice, like I said at the start of this video. I would highly recommend if you guys are down here at Disney World or anything in the area, come out here to Celebration. Beautiful area, really, really new stuff, which is crazy. There's a lot of new build going on here, which is something that I feel like you don't find a lot in the Central Florida area for like these complexes that like, I don't know, it just feels really almost like homey and not necessarily like touristy, which is like a nice change of pace. All of that being said, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us today and trying Fat Burger again. I had some sun today, so I appreciate that. I'm just like exhausted, it was just a long day, so it was nice to come and get a burger. I'm a fan, I think I would come here to Fat Burger again. The price on the burgers seems a little steep for me, but it was overall a great burger in, in all honesty. I just don't know if I could justify spending like 12 to 14 dollars or whatever it would have been and then if you had like a meal it's like 16 bucks or whatever it's, it just starts to add up a lot i feel like that's almost like theme park pricing versus like you know kind of quick food pricing i would say um again we did slim chickens back there that was also a fantastic restaurant so over here at like celebration point this is like a huge hit in my opinion i feel like two really good options for food i think again those milkshakes were fantastic so i would highly recommend checking those out but at least now you have the option to do fat burger here in central florida either way if you did enjoy hanging out with us today please give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more content like this go ahead and subscribe to the channel we'll see you guys in the next video take care <laughs>